We want to be free. We want our liberation then we must take the responsibility that goes with liberation and freedom and that responsibility is is to be able to take the time to analyze and to think and to feel things out to their logical conclusion feel stay with these things to the end to the good conclusion we cannot come and get involved in this for a year or two years we must pick our way of life and we must live to it and no matter how hard anybody here thinks that it is if you think about all of our relatives that are locked up in prison cells Think about how hard it is for them, but they're strong enough to endure. Well, we're out here. We should be strong enough to endure also. Think about all the women and children and, and men, the people that have had to endure centuries and centuries of oppression, strong enough to endure. We must do that. We must find a way to communicate with each other. We must find a way to have a more open human compassion. We must go back to the ways of the earth. It's the only way we're going to protect the unborn. We must never quit. We must be resistance. We must build a resistance that passes on the information and the knowledge of our mistakes to the next generation. We must not become too movement oriented where we get caught up in our own arrogance because we're chasing a cause. We must build our power. And we must understand that we build strong. We must build to survive. Not to change the politics right now, we must build to survive. Because pretty soon, pretty soon a lot of these conversations will not, they will not allow them to take place anymore. Pretty soon we're going to have to be looking at each other in a way where we're either, where we're allies. There's going to come a time in our lifetime, and many of us will see it, there's going to come a time where we're going to have to run to each other for safety. That time is coming. And anyone who refuses to believe it, anyone who still believes the American lie, that it can't happen here, then you have our sympathy. And we do not mean to offend you. <laughs> Stay with us as long as you can. And when you see it start to happen, then you make your decision. Because Reagan, <laughs> Reagan's not your enemy. <laughs> Reagan's just, he's an actor. <laughs> <laughs> he's saying the words that somebody is putting into his hands to say. He's reading his script. And they got this thing well planned. And they intend that they're going to break the backbone of resistance in America and they're going to do it under their so-called energy crisis. I don't know what the answers are or the solutions, but we know that let's pray. Every day we could pray. We could pray to the earth and we could pray to the ways that we believe and pray for some kind of understanding and take a little bit of time to get to know ourselves and be comfortable with ourselves. Take a little time, see, because the enemy has come into us the enemy, has, the enemy is inside of us. The enemy exploits our ego, exploits our needs and our wants. You know, there are things in this world that we need to have to survive. And there are things in this world that we want because we want them. We are going to have to relearn the difference. We are going to have to learn to take what we need, even if it means giving up some of the excess that we want. And we cannot give too much to a way of life. I thank you for your time.